Oh, you're without sex. My girlfriend lives outside of Europe, so this is my life anyway. So, uh, no, um, I think a year without sex would be much easier for me than a year without music. I mean, everyone has lived a year without sex. I don't believe that. Like, even before you had sex, you lived a year without sex. So, I'm pretty sure I lived a year without music too, but right now, I don't see myself doing no music for a year, but I, I don't care if I don't have sex. Even though everyone loves sex, including me, but it's an easy choice for me. Wow. I think I would go with MJ. As much as I love Aliyah, MJ to me is on a, like a different level in terms of music. Like, um, I would love to make a song with Aliyah, but MJ is just something else. I think for me, MJ actually changed my life. Like the way I look at life and music. And <laughs> Hashtag pause, first of all. I don't know. It kind of depends on my mood. Sometimes I like the fiery, grilly type of feeling of Burger King. And sometimes you want to go back to the Happy Meal. That's all I'm going to say. Pause. <laughs> So smack my mom really hard or kill a puppy. I think first thing I would do is I would tell my mom this and see what she had to say about it. I let I would let her choose because nah, I would kill a puppy. I would kill a puppy. And this is horrible. Like I, I actually would never actually do it. But if I had to choose, I, I, I don't think I've ever could hurt a puppy. But my mom, smack my mom? No, man. I don't know. Tough question. Or maybe I would smack my mom because she would probably survive it and go to the hospital. I used to always carry too many crates with me to a show back when I used to DJ with vinyl. So it would be me, um, let's say I would play an hour, but I would bring like vinyl worth of like four hour music, you know? And at a certain point, everyone was saying, oh, you know, full crates. Like, I always had these crates. And I kind of liked the way it sounded, full crate. And um, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, it stands more, you know, it stands for more things than just a, a record crate. It was like a full crate of everything from like full crate of beer, full crate of love, full crate of everything. So it was kind of funny back then, but you know, it kind of got out of hand when people just, people just call me crate everywhere, like even my parents sometimes. So it's, um, it's, an, it's a name that's stuck. And uh, basically, I still have a lot of love for vinyl, even though. I do less vinyl shopping than I used to, but um, yeah, so that's basically the story. So what's up, this is Full Crate, and these are the monster picks. <laughs>